In this lecture, I am going to explain you how key for encryption in TLS is delivered without Diffie-Hellman algorithm. So let's have a look at this diagram. Before sending a certificate from server to web browser, as you know already, negotiation of Kipcar suite occurs. And first client sends list of supported Kipcar suites and the web server chooses one of those suites. After that, web server sends certificate to web browser. Web browser verifies that certificate. And if verification was successful, it means that web browser has authenticated web server. And after that, generation of secure key starts. And in this case, again, without Diffie-Hellman algorithm, web browser generates random key. And after generation of this random key, it encrypts that key using public key retrieved from web server's certificate. So public keys here and here are the same. Again, Web browser encrypts random key using public key of web server. And encrypted key is sent over the internet to web server. Of course, anyone may intercept this encrypted key. But uh, as you already know, with RSA keys, you are able to decrypt encrypted data only if you possess private key. And in our case, only web server has corresponding private key. And using that private key, web server is able to decrypt this encrypted key. And uh, when web server decrypts uh, this key, both sides, web browser and web server, will possess same key that can be used for further data encryption. That's how key for encryption is delivered without Diffie-Hellman algorithm. Again, please uh, don't concentrate on this weird name. We will talk about Diffie-Hellman algorithm in one of the next lectures. Okay, now about drawbacks of such key delivery. As you see here, we use on the web browser side public key of the web server for data encryption. Also, we use certificate of web browser for authentication of web server by web browser. And that means that same key pair, RSA key pair, this one, is used for authentication of another side of web server and for data encryption. And that is not good because public private key pair is actually static and uh, it exists until certificate of web server is valid. And if any site, anyone will gain access to the private key of web server, that person will be able to decrypt entire communication between this web server and other clients. Because we will be able to decrypt this encrypted key and gain access to this key that is used for data encryption between web browser and web server. That is a drawback of uh, such key delivery. And uh, summary here is following. You should avoid using such key delivery whenever possible and don't use it because RSA key pair should be used only for authentication of uh, web server, nothing else. It shouldn't be used for encryption of any sensitive data like uh, secure key that is used for data encryption. Okay, now it's time to move on and in the next lecture, let's explore how key is generated with Diffie-Hellman algorithm. So see you in a moment. Bye.